imagine a telepathic zombie. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to be painting Zombie Professor X. And to be honest, this is a guy who actually looks like a zombie in this game. Just the way that the flesh comes out, the, 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 the fact that his brain is sticking out, there's a part of Cerebro stuck in him, uh, the chair all crooked. Anyways, this was an amazing miniature to paint. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to hit that like button. Now let's get to the table. All right, so first off, you're going to want to prime them in Brain Matter Beige. Yep, it's not your matte white primer. And we're going to be using speed paints in this one. And, of course, we're starting with my favorite zombie skin here, Bony Matter. Yep, if you're looking to paint zombies, I think this is the way to go. If you want to give them a bit of a green hint to them or something like that later on, you could probably add a green wash or something like that to it. Give it just a little bit more sickly to it. But I just find this one, the Bony Matter, just gets to the recesses. It really makes it look zombie-ish. Blinding light now for some of his shirt here. Uh, we could have made him a little bit dirtier than that, but uh, we're going to do a better job on that dirty niche later on. Dirty-ish? Dirty -ish, ness? I don't know what you can say about that, but, you know, dirty stuff. Making it look like a zombie. I mean, this guy, just this miniature is just amazing. Simon, again, just really does a great job bringing these miniatures to the table with so much more to them than just... A character on a blank base they add basing to it it's textured and you got all the fun stuff now let's show that exposed brain with some pastel salmon here yep a little bit of a pink to show that brain it should have been a little bit more pink than that maybe I should have went with the uh, pastel pink or whatever it was called or princess pink well you know mummified grime now for the pants uh, the original Xavier has a little bit darker pants like brownish pants so this guy's got mummified and his blanket instead of being like a red it's like a brownish red you know it's kind of dirty kind of gross and then camel cloak I always forget how dark this one is but it kind of works even though it should have been a bit lighter like in the picture but I mean it'll be 40 other Professor Xavier coming up real soon on the channel so stay tuned for that it'll be kind of like a back-to-back uh, -back comparison of a zombie version and a regular hero version but coming back to Camel Cloak here, this is one of the original Speed Paints 1.0. I think it might have been redone into 2.0. I might actually have the second bottle of it. I can tell a difference when I'm painting with both kinds that the 1.0 is much thicker than the newer ones. And I don't know about the reactivation. I don't. I didn't always check every single paint to see if it reactivated. But uh, this one does a good job getting into the nooks and crannies, though. But like I said, it's a little bit thicker than usual. So you might want to just take out some of the recesses if there's too much. And then instead of using a golden paint on his uh, hover thingy here, uh, his hover chair, we decide, I decided to use uh, the Ancient Honey, which has a brownish, yellowish, golden tint to it. So the same kind of thing as gold, but it's not going to be shiny. And I just flop this on there like so much as possible, uh, adding a little bit here and there even more just to make it really like dirty looking and it's all broken. There's pieces like that are scratched off. I mean, this this is a awesome looking miniature. Um, again, if you're liking these videos of Marvel Zombies, hit those like buttons. I want to see likes and I want to see more subscribers. Come on, only 17% of you are actually subscribed to my channel. That is so little. The other 80%, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Do you not like my content? Comment down below why you are not subscribed. I want to know. Is it because my content is boring? Is it because it's always the same thing? I really want to know your opinion so that either I can make it better or pretty much tell you, well, too bad. I'm continuing what I'm doing. But no, I'd love to always better myself. That's what we're trying to do in this world. And there you have it, folks. Zombie Professor X is ready for the table. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Don't forget that notification bell as well. And we'll see you all in the next one.